Hey, I'm Andrew Lim for Mobility Ways, and today we're going to have a look at the Beryl e-scooter troll in Norwich. To help us test them out, we've invited our friend, technology journalist, Guy Cocker. Guy, are you excited? I really am. Yeah, I've been using scooters for a couple of years now, just in general, just for fun. And now they're finally legal, at least if you hire them, these barrel ones in Norwich. And um, yeah, it's hopefully going to be really fun. Yes, they're a clean way of getting around. And yes, they're pretty cheap to, to use in general. Uh, but I ju they're just so much fun to use. So I'm really excited. Yeah. To support a green restart of local travel and help mitigate reduced public transport capacity, the Department for Transport is fast tracking and expanding trials of rental e-scooters. E-scooters offer the potential for fast, clean and inexpensive travel. It can also help ease the burden on transport networks and allow for social distancing. On the 22nd of September, Beryl announced the launch of its e-scooters in Norwich. Beryl e-scooters use the same app and account as the standard Beryl bikes and Beryl e-bikes. To get started, you will first need to upload your valid driving license in the app. After your license has passed the verification process, you'll be able to unlock an e-scooter. The e-scooter can go up to 12.5 miles per hour. Once you reach this speed, the motor will not go any faster. Payment depends on how long you're riding for and whether you end your ride by locking the e-scooter in a bay or in a free-floating location. You know, if you're cycling a few miles into work, probably I would still take a bike. I think the great thing about these are it's it's that sort of journey where you might be going across town to go and meet a friend for dinner or you might be like you say you come into the station and then you want to do the last couple of miles to your office or whatever it is. It's those instances that are great and it, and it's, it feels very futuristic to not have to you know wait for a bus anymore if you can just jump on one of these. And actually I, I, the thing that surprised me which I didn't mention before is just how well constructed they are. They feel really solid. It doesn't it fit this feels like a more premium experience than the one I bought. And I, and I spent like 400 pounds on on my um, scooter so it's a it's a really comfortable ride the suspension is great the tires are, are inflated and I guess that's one of the benefits of a rental companies doing it because they're servicing them all the time and making sure that they're safe and and everything else so um yeah I, I just really like the construction of them and I, I think I think they're definitely the future of that like sort of last mile of commuting in terms of commuting which is what mobility ways is really interested in I think the big the big thing here is how close are we to be able to commute using e scooters and the more I see of the work that's being done the more I think that it's going to happen really soon so yeah I'm really excited it's incredible how fast it's gone from being an idea to actually being on the streets yeah. other countries in Europe have, have been a bit faster to, to kind of enable these types of vehicles but we're now at a point in the UK where I think it's, it's being considered really seriously but yeah I, I, I loved it I thought it was a really fun ride okay that's it from us if you want to find out more information about how you can achieve zero carbon commuting please visit mobilityways.co.uk and uh, make sure you get your ASIL score, which gives you an idea of your organization's average commuter emissions level. We think that e-scooters are gonna be a big part of helping to get that down. That's it from me, and uh, thank you very much, Guy, again, for helping us out today. That was a lot of fun. My pleasure.